Hello, my name is Tim Calvo. I'm with Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems Laboratory and Analytical Equipment Group. Today we're going to show you the process as to how to set up your recently purchased MAJSB, which is the Micron Airjet Civ version B for BASIC. When you get the cartons, please inspect the cartons to make certain that there is no damage to the exterior, which could potentially have caused damage to the actual product. Open the cartons, which have been pre-cut. Remove the cardboard protective assembly. You will have a white box, which is your accessory box. Set that aside for the moment. And lift out your unit. Place it on a firm analytical table and set the unit in place. Okay, then you can reposition the box. You'll notice that the unit has a protective cover over the control panel. The protective cover can either be, can remain in place or remove simply by taking and just slitting the four little tabs here and then you can just peel it directly off. In the discharge throat you will find that you have the static quality control um, form. I would record that or put it in a safe place so that you can have it for future reference. I'm going to set it aside for the moment. Next, open your accessory box. In the accessory box is the operations manual. Also, you have a sieve screen cover. In some cases, the sieve screen cover has a protective coating on it. Please remove the protective coating. You will also have a sieve brush and a tapping hammer. And lastly, but most importantly, and I will set this aside, is the wand. The rotating wand is what enables the pneumatic sieving principle to properly function. Okay. Now, the wand must be in place by simply taking the wand, and you'll notice you have the center shaft hole here. Place it down over the motor shaft. Now to the vacuum. We're going to open the box, which has already been pre-cut. We're going to check for the contents. In a brown box, you will have two spare paper filters. You also have a length of hose, which is, as you can see, approximately two meters in length. This also is an anti-static hose. Okay, we'll set that aside. Then remove the vacuum. Now I'm going to set the vacuum here for the moment and I'm going to remove the box. All right. The vacuum is a HEPA filtered vacuum. You will notice that it has the brown paper bag primary collection, you have a motor filter, and you have the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter is easily removed by simply pressing the housing and removing the HEPA filter. Installation, quite simply, snaps back in place. Once you've confirmed you have all the components, replace the HEPA filter or the vacuum cover snap it in place and now what we'll do is we will insert the vacuum hose into the opening here. Typically quarter turn and it locks in place. Now the other end of the vacuum of course connects to the back nipple on the air jet sieve. It's a fitting that's on the back that was designed to slide directly on. I will show that by simply relocating this and plugging the hose in as you can see. Now normally speaking you would not see this end but because of the video we're trying to make things a little bit more visible for your operation. Okay so on the back of the air jet sieve you will also notice there is a grounding hose 
or pardon me, clamp. That grounding clamp can be connected to your hose. It's, it's basically additional uh, safety should static charge build in the hose. This will help ground it out. Not always necessary because it is an anti-static hose. But you will also notice on the back of the jet sieve is you have a 120 volt power outlet. That is the location where the vacuum plugs. Never, and I cannot say that enough, never plug the vacuum directly into your house power. The air jet sieve will control the power going to the vacuum. You'll also find that there are RS-232 ports on the back. They are simply um, hole fillers. They are non-functional. So the unit cannot and does not communicate with any other apparatus. It is strictly a basic version unit. Once you've got that all in place, what we're going to do now, and pardon my back, is we're going to relocate the machine. I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to pick up my power source. And we're going to plug the unit in. OK. Operation of the unit. Very quick, very easy, very simple. Power the unit once the power source is turned on. It will go through its self-diagnostics. Upon conclusion, you will see a zero and an enter. Quite simply, enter in the time and do not press the start button until you have a sieve screen in place. Once you press the start button, the motor will run. However, your vacuum must be in the on position at all times. Once the air jet sieve has been properly located on your work table or laboratory bench. Also set your vacuum within close proximity of the unit, basically the two meter length of hose. However, if necessary, the hose can be reduced in length. Then take the power cord from the vacuum, plug that into the back of the unit because the vacuum is always controlled. The power source of the vacuum is controlled by the jet sieve. The jet sieve is now plugged into the power source. Press the power. Make certain that the unit is going through its self-diagnostics. Now, in order to confirm just a simple operation, what we're going to do is place a screen in the proper position. We're going to put in 10 seconds, and then we'll press start. Notice the vacuum has not come on because there is a switch on the vacuum that must always be in the on position for when the time ceases it automatically shuts the vacuum down. Once all of the points have been checked, your installation is complete. We'd like to thank you for your purchase of the Micron AirJet sieve. And should you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you once again.